Welcome, G-Man Division 5B to uh, finally, after long ado, uh, your recap. It is a couple of weeks late, but, you know, stuff happens. But we're here now, and that is really all that matters. I am, of course, going to side with Lazra. Hello. Let us start. I mean, I, I'd like to say that this is going to take a while, but really, we just did the uh, double cap for the other division, and it was only like one hour and five minutes. But they had about a bye weeks. A couple bye weeks, right? Yep. Right, so in theory this one will take longer, but we'll see. Thanks and Titans winning against the Cookball Cannibals, that is not a huge surprise, I don't think, is it? No, that's a pretty pretty chill result. Wait, hold on. The Thanks and Titans in these Boomer and Barrack. What? You no? can do that? No, I was just thinking. Like, they were down TV? How did that happen? Well, here's what I'm thinking, right? The Dwarves have a stadium for stars. The thingy. Oh, so you think they scummed it? So I'm thinking they scummed it for 20k. Against Halflings? <laughs> eh. I don't know, well, man. To be fair, I, I, kind, I, do, I do kind of see it because they're so slow, they want to secure the win. Like, but then again, you've all got tackling, and they're all, like, armor 6 stunty, so... Ugh, well, it was a choice, and it paid off, they did win 2 now. So... I guess. Fair play to them. Mm-hmm. Got three Kaz. On the flings. Got a couple of levels, yeah, solid. Yep, onwards, two Blood and Tears winning 3-0 against the one Thick Coat. 3-0, huh? Yeah, man, big, big win. Uh, yeah, three. Yeah. yeah, I mean they 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 got less blocks, more removals. That's always a good sign. That'll do it, right? And I that mean they're vampires. I mean, you know, they went after the goblins clearly. That both have two cows on half goblins. So so good. Oh, well, they got that, they got the killer one, haven't they? They got the block mighty blade piling on. Bam. Think so. stuff. Right. Uh, man, you love to see it. You love to see the vampires winning games. You it's do. Pretty comprehensive. I mean, early chores. When you've got these, this, these vamps are already pretty well developed for the first season. You know, you've got three blodge killer, two stat ups. Like, it's not. I don't think there was a whole lot Gravazilli could have done here, but three no is pretty indicative. Yep. Uh, the bridge burners win 3-1 against the supreme leaders, the two plus supreme leaders. That is, yep, uh, classic dead loner MVP there for the uh, high elves. First off, excellent. 21 armor brace for the Kislev in 50 blocks, Gee. resulting in 10 removals. What the hell? Well, the question is, how did they get 50 blocks against the high elves? Like, whoa, that's kind of. That's the thing that jumps out at me. Yeah, you don't uh, usually but, expect that. Yeah, well, there was some damage. <laughs> the Hiles had a 47% dodge ratio, so maybe they just like oh, failed the first dodge oh, of every round. <laughs> yeah, that might be it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not it's not great. Whiskey, Whiskey Jack, the Mighty Blade Blitz are having um, three casualties in a touchdown on the day. That's pretty good. Christ. Yeah, that is pretty good. Um, Yikes! The high elves just got ran over. Basically, they forgot how to elf. <laughs> uh, yep. On Onwards to the Gascon. The Gaston Gangers losing uh, two one against the Orcs on tour. Um. All right. What do we? What do we see Blood's here? Blood's turning up and getting injured. Snap. Yep. Uh, like special pierce doing nothing again. Fairly equal Seven. blocks, really, 31 to uh, 38, but um, the Skaven got two removals, whilst the Orcs got five. So that's sort of standard, I'd say. Yeah, it's just a 2-1 grind. Mm -hmm. Easy easy play. Well, the rest don't really have, like... I mean, the Strength 3 wrestles a pretty good sucker, but they... I don't know, I guess the Orcs just played, you know... 
if they couldn't find an opening, then kind of sucks. I, think. I yeah. guess he was banking on Glart to do quite a bit, and I don't think Glart did anything. So. Yeah, I doubt that. Onwards to the Hexital Braves, losing 2-0 against the Pork Squad. Let's see what happened here. Um, once again, very equal in blocks, but less equal in removals. 56 blocks for the Lizards versus 58 blocks, but the Lizards got 2 removals, whilst the Orcs got 4. Ooh, a little Armour arm 9 beatdown game. Great. Um, Oh, the skink, the, the skink got cast, but not killed. I've still got a bounty out on that skink. The uh, strength four, by the way. He, you know he has another strength uh, up his game. No? He has one now. He has a strength three one as well. Oh. Jesus, what are, the, what are these guys having? Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Either who. A lot of twelves. That's a lot of twelves. Uh, I'd kill for though, half those. To the of, like, like three of the swords are still rookies. He doesn't have any guard, yeah. Um, he does have one tackle on the source, which is nice, but... He's yeah. basically all his... He's wasting all his good rolls on the skink. I mean, as a result, like, the rest of... The rest of the team are a bit sad, and that's sort of been shown by this result against yes. the Orcs. Very much so. Um, yeah. Like, you're great, you're great against rats and Hatchy teams, but... You really start, like, all his developments on one, on one side of his team. And it's, it's on the Probably side that balance. most people would agree is the worst on to get development. Yeah, you, all your levels are on your worst stated pieces. Not the best. Yeah. So, that's that. Uh, Fruit of the team loses against Major Bites, like, scary, but surprisingly effective Norse team. Yep. Although they took two deaths, and lost a dirty player and a lineman. Ooh. A rookie, sorry. I forget that it's an all lineman team. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, and Maybe I. Maybe by coming up with another result. I'm very surprised to see them win this. I mean, equal box, again. But the undead got a grand total of nine removals. The Norse got two. But yeah. the Norse won. Yeah, standard. Oh, no. Standard, really. I mean, well, getting right. So there's equal blocks, but all the Norse have block, and there's like three, four block on the undead team. So you'd expect that if there's a lot of blocking, you'd expect the Norse to do well because all their pieces are better at doing blocking. Yeah, you know, that's but how like, because they're less likely, they're less likely to get knocked down. Um, they're less likely to fail. Um, you know, it's good. Yeah, but the... So yeah, I'd say, I'd say that's pretty standard. If both teams are blocking the same, and one team has more blocks than the other, then you'd expect the team with more blocks. I don't know. No, but... That's my logic anyway. You know that it's the undead who got died from the right? Yeah. Yeah. Versus yeah, two for the Norse. Yeah, but clearly... Clearly they weren't all on the same drive or anything crazy like that, otherwise, yeah, the end, like, the end dead would have been Natural. So probably, like, probably, you know, out of those nine removals, they're all, like, a few of them were KO, all the KOs, what was it, like, three KOs, maybe they all came back straight away. Right. Kaz, maybe he got, like, one Kaz and then three Kaz in the last three turns or something. Yes. I mean, that tends to happen, actually, surprisingly. I don't know. It's only one, though. I, it, uh, maybe something crazy happened. Because I agree, I think, yeah. Nine removals, you'd surely find a way to score. Boring, so. Another. Uh, maybe another unlucky day, but. Um, bunch of, remember, he had that game against the Halflings where he lost, rolling every. making them, so. A bit sad for him. Mm hmm. Yeah. Onwards to the darkest dark. He told us that it's not darkest dark elves, but darkest bells. No, so... he said the other way around, didn't he? Hold on, let me check the Discord. No. I swear he said that it was the other way around. No, I keep calling them the darkest dark elves. True. Then he said it was wrong. Uh. Okay, 
really sure. I'll take your word for it. Carry on. I'll scroll up through the Discord. Darkest Dells. No, I, I'm not sure if you said it in the Discord or if it was on a voice chat. Anyways, they they won uh, for once against uh, the Tunnel Sneaks. I mean, the Tunnel Sneaks got all of two removals, uh, two armor breaks, that is. Although both armor breaks were uh, removals. Wow, that is... I mean, the, the Darkest Dark Elves. 35 oh, no, you're blocks. you're right, you're right, you're right. Yes. Darkest Delves. Darkest Delves. They got 35 blocks versus yep. 48. It's a fairly big difference. The Dark Elves got 9 removals versus the Skaven who got 2. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hold on, let me load up again. Um, got hit. Yeah. I mean, big win. Um, AV8. Yeah, this is, great. This, is the, this is the. In terms of leaderboard position. This is like the main Skaven team. Oh my god, I just looked at the report. That's a lot of crosses. Oh. It's all badly hurt though, so it's all good. Alright. It's all good. <laughs> this time. It's not always all good. Oh, this is the Rat Ogre uh, Rat team. Um, right. Oh. So, I guess that was that. Let's take a look at next week. That is the two plus supreme leaders winning against the. Um, Halflings, I mean, what is there really to say? Not a, not a big surprise there. Yep. One thick coat loses against the Orcs on tour. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, I mean, what can we really say? Uh, 47 to 62 blocks. It's a fair difference. And the Orcs got three removals versus the Chaos versus one. Um, yeah, I think this is just like. Standard, like no big. Yeah, I think it's just just Razda being pretty good at Blood Bowl. I don't know. I mean, yeah. no, they didn't taste the saw. Um, I assume for the fouling, like a saw and a bribe, maybe they went for. It would have had to be just a saw though, because it's only like a hundred TV difference. So unless he scummed a bribe as well, maybe he did that. But there was an expulsion for one thick coat. So maybe what happened was the saw walks up. Um. Fouled a solo fouled a lineman or something and got sent off, but the bribe failed. And then it was just a really long, sad day of being bashed around by orcs. Might be why. Would you have taken a saw there? If you have 100 TV, 120 TV against the uh, orcs. I would have taken a bribe because I don't trust saws. Yeah, the saws are very unreliable. They're okay on goblins because there's no loner, but. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you're making. Yeah, it's just. Oh. I mean, they, they can be good against like Blodge on armor 17. But yeah. Even then, you, you know, would you rather take stab? Because <laughs> stab doesn't stab doesn't turn you over. Yeah, stab's um, garbage, but it's, yeah, it's it's the two plus right? Because as soon as you fail that, it's a loner reroll to you know try and make it again. And if you yeah, fail exactly. it, you turn over. So you're in this, and probably lose, and you probably lose a piece as well. Yeah, and you totally lose the the the, the thing. You no, always... it's the, unless it's the uh, no, unless it's like the dwarf one. It might be the isn't the dwarf one like armor nine or something? Yeah, but doesn't Maybe it have like a plus three armor, you know, piercing whatever on itself? That's true. But then again, that would the put yeah on the dwarf one, it would only take it down to like armor seven, so. That's Still not sucks. awful. It's when it's the goblin one where it's like they armor, go from four. armor seven to armor four, and it's just like you always go. Um, eh, you got leveled up in this game, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Want to see what level you got? It's exciting. Oh, it's not. Um, onwards to the it's the tungsten tungsten titans losing against the orc squad. Man, the orcs are really on a roll, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. Clan BBA is on a roll. It's like Sweden Blood Bowl Association clan. Yeah. All three wins, and they got. I think they got all three wins last week, so they're six and zero. Wow. In terms of, if this was clan league, there'd be uh there'd be two two wins in two weeks. So yeah, it's putting on a clinic here. This is um. Yeah, the orcs. Are, well, because the orcs are just like. It's orcs versus dwarves, and the orcs are. Got good levels and I don't know. It's to be expected. Anyway, should we carry on to the next game? 
Yeah, Sorry. let's... Wait. From Tungsten and Titans? No, no we're, we're now on Tungsten and Titans versus Fork Squad, yeah? Yeah, 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 that's where we are, that's where we are. Yeah. Um, I mean, this is really a game where, uh, I mean, AV9 didn't really exist, did it? I mean... Six removals for the uh, Orcs against the Dwarves. And three removals for the Dwarves versus the Orcs. Yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty even. Uh, well, you say that, but it's twice as many removals for the orcs versus, you know, less blocks. <laughs> you say that, but you're actually wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah. Oh no, you're right. Sorry, I didn't. What are you talking here. about? I'm just, I'm just, you know, rambling away. As you usual. were thinking, you were thinking three to the power of two, which is nine. No. Okay. Whatever. Um. Yeah, I mean, Orcs really struggle when they're down players, uh, especially when they're down six players. So. Not to say that they were all down at the same time, but you know. Mm. Yeah, onwards. Man, I just realized how good the Port Squad Black Orcs are already. They've all got block. One's got blodge. It's like, they've only played like eight game, nine games. It's pretty good. Yeah, it is. For this stage. <sighs> anyway, sorry. Um, Blood and Tears actually losing to 17 weeks of suffering. Major Bite yeah. actually being a beast, like, I don't know. Yeah, Major Bite just beat up these vamps, holy shit, look at it. It's, I mean... Eight cars. How? Like, alright, so, blocks were slightly tilted towards the north, but I'm guessing oh, that's they because probably, they got blood seven... Dust, probably Bloodlust failure and casting threat. Well, no, because the north inflicted four KOs and inflicted three injuries in 36 blocks, right? Meanwhile, the vampires in 24 blocks didn't get a single removal. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Especially when you got Mighty Blow piling on. Especially when you have Mighty Blow piling Against on versus Armor Mass AV7. Yeah, that's horrific. Yeah, Norm Berryman, what are you doing? He got MVP. <laughs> it's not a very well deserved MVP. I don't think zero so. Cars, zero KOs, and probably a lot of blocks. Probably cast his own thralls. Probably did more damage to his own team and failed blood blood scrolls than actual probably to the enemy team. Uh, yeah, just fucking maybe just that we was a day when the vamps vampires. What was the blood blood stat? Actually, that's kind of interesting. That is interesting. It was seventy-seven percent. Oh, okay, so that's like fairly. Actually, I was expecting that to be a bit lower, to be honest. Maybe you just didn't bother to re-roll them. Like six percent lower than usual. Maybe the thralls. I don't know. I get. I don't get it. Did the thralls just like fall over on GFIs and dodges? Well, the Norse managed to remove seven players. I'm pretty sure that's where the thralls went. Oh, maybe the bomb got them. Do you reckon that? Because I don't think. I don't know if bomb. Casualty what are you going on about? Because Beamer was induced. So maybe he blew up all the thralls. <laughs> that's why that's why they don't show up on the like casualty calls list because they're not from a block they're from a bomb well where that's did the injury because the Norse inflicted seven removals don't they show up in rebel.net well on rebel.net it shows that the vampires sustained eight casualties and the Norse only inflicted three um what? But the Norse did bring in, so there was 4k, they hit, they gave out 4k's as well. But you know what this is? where the other 5 casualties came from, so let's say 2 from Bloodlust, like 2 from a bomb and 1 from him falling over. Anyway. This is pointless speculation. <laughs> it is pointless, it's like, I, I don't know. Uh, At the end of the day, his Mighty Blade piling on had a really bad game but got MVP and they lost the sadness. Yep. 2-1 grind. The Bridge Burners tie against the Tunnel Sneaks. Ah, yep. oh, God, 24 armor breaks for the, for the bridge burners there. That is a, uh, oh. a thing. Only two more removals than the Skaven. The Skaven got seven removals in ten breaks. Okay. <laughs> uh, they were all chaos, yeah, though. Yeah. A tie is a tie is a tie. Shall we go on? Maybe they, yeah, it might be like a last minute one turn, something exciting. Uh, yeah. Perhaps. We cannot know. Unless we check the replay, which I won't. <laughs> the Gastown Gangers losing against the Darkest Delves. 
Winning two games yeah, in a row here, look lazy. Getting, getting a few results together here now. Here we go. This is where it all turns around with like three games left yeah. in the season. Um. So yeah, once again, the dark is dark. I say once again, but I completely forget how his last game went, even though we talked about it two minutes ago. Getting seven so, uh, removals versus the Ratters one. <laughs> yeah, once again, the Claw Blitzer not getting any casualties. There's a surprise. About 13 of 16. Probably feed him a touchdown at some point, because he's clearly not wanting to hit anything. Yep. Yeah. Oh well. You can't really do that. You can't really do that against um, Elks very easily, though. It's one for the Dwarf games and the Agi 3 games where he struggles to sack. Um, yeah. yeah. I, don't know. Just, I feel Look. like the Gastown Gang has had a pretty horrific season, all told. Is just a continuation in terms of results. Um, uh, yeah, they have. Uh, shall we go on to the Hexotal Braves? Yeah, let's have a look. It is. Uh, there we go. Yes, uh, Fruit of the Tomb. We're winning 2 to 1 against the Hexotal Braves. Let's take a look. They induced um, a stabbing piece. They did. I don't know, this, I don't know who this guy is. Sin bad. Never heard I of him. I don't play in that. Wait, is he the Camry stabbing piece? Maybe he's got block, jump up, pass block, um, regen, secret weapon, uh, sidestep, and stab. Which is one hell of a skill list, if you ask me. I don't know what his stats are. Um, so that's kind of cool. And it got the result for them. What the hell is Who'd Sinbad? And now I'm curious. Wait, I'm pretty sure Rebel.net has like a star players list. Star players. I don't know. For which race? Who induced them? Uh, undead. Undead, 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 undead. There we go. Sin. Sinadbad. He's a 6327. What the hell is Sin okay. bad? Blood Bolt. This is a ghoul. Uh, you think so? No, no, no. no. He's yeah. He is the the Camry um the Camry like stabbing piece. That's kind of cool. It's a blitz draw. Um, yeah. He keeps getting <laughs> the strength force skin keeps getting cast, <laughs> but not of course um, he is. removed. Not like killed. Uh, the, the strength up Chorf is still alive as well. All the bounties I've placed have not been claimed at all. Wow. Not a single one. I haven't placed that many, but I think I've placed like four or five across the two divisions that we cover. None claimed. Not complaining. Um, well, that's money for you Yeah, it's spend. probably a 2-1 grind. I mean, yeah. Mummy's doing work. Stab coming in against all the blodge to make up for the lack of tackle, which is Pretty clever, good workaround. Yeah. You notice the undead. The undead are up to four guard Ooh. Uh, against a uh, lizard man team with zero guard and three still rookie saurus. So. I think we're going to end. It. I think the Exodal Braves have reached the point where like the teams they're playing against are too developed for just stat stuff freaks to win them games. Like they need. This is going to be a long, like from here till mid season four. Uh, sorry, mid next season when um, all the Saurus are back to the same level of development as the Skinks. It's... Until then, it's going to be a tough one. They're going to struggle for results, I think. Uh huh. But that's that's lizard life, you know. You have the you have the rough times, and then once all your Saurus are level four, uh, then you start to just in every game. Anyway, uh, I don't have anything else to talk about for this. I think it just looks like a pretty standard two-one grind. Yeah, I think you're quite right. Uh, that was the last team we're taking the, we're looking the result. And I've been talking way too much today. I can't English well. Let's just go on to development. <laughs> Next little Braves. Uh, I'm a horse and stuff. They get. They get absolutely nothing in their one week, and then strength on their other one. So yes, everyone, the block skink now has strength as well. 
course he does. Meanwhile, the sidestep one has sure feet. Yep. Sure feet. That's the uh, that's the one turner. All he needs now is movement. And sprints. And movement and sprint. Yep. Um, and any source development? I don't think so. No, but the Croxigor got guard. Finally. So hey. that's something. Got there. Finally got that MVP. Yep. He even has enough money for a bench. Two of the three rookie swordsaurus are like, one of them's a touchdown away, the other's a, a casualty away. So mm -hmm. it's, it's almost not... almost starting to come together. It's it just is. a little bit, just not quite there yet. He's got 170k in the bank. It's probably going to be a stadium upgrade. What, you, what, what stadium upgrade do you think he'd take for this team? Uh, anti rock. Anti rock. <laughs> yep. That's what I think. <laughs> I'd go for weather. Really? Yeah, I'd go for weather. Why? Because... Um... Because you don't want rain. I, don't, I wouldn't want rain. I don't think I'd want... Oh, well, actually, no, you kind of do want the blizzard, but that's fair enough. Well, you don't... No, uh, no one wants rain. The thing about the rock is, right? It takes a million years for the lizardman to get anywhere. And half of your skinks are really valuable. So, if you get rocked, there is, what... Like a nine in twelve chance that a very important player is first off gonna be probably out for the rest of the drive, maybe dead. Yeah. <laughs> when you put it that way, it seems a lot more sensible what you're suggesting. Yeah. Anyway. But I Who's think next? he might spend it on a skin, anyways. Up next is Fruit of the Tomb. Fruit of the Tomb, they get. get they, a white level. they get a white level. He gets tackle. Interesting, I guess. Yeah, he's sort of lacking. Right. Uh, and he gets a level on Spine Apple the second. He gets block. Yep, just gets to block. Block guard, which is nice. It is good. Pretty chill. Decent levels and, and you no know, one the, died. You've got straw buried with the movement down, but I don't think you. I don't think you hate that too much because the team is the team around them is so slow that you're probably not. You're never really. You're never really using all seven movements on your offense. I don't think because unless you have potato out the front of the cage, in which case you're probably getting sacked anyway. Uh huh. Uh, no, it's, it's it's a nice looking team. It is. Uh, gone through. It's had a good first season, you know. He hasn't. He's got. He's been a bit unlucky with some of the results, but the development's been pretty good, all told. He hasn't lost anything. Important. Yep. Uh, the darkest dark elves. Let's see if they got some improvements. Uh, they get. They get. They get um, twilight levels. Get the dodge. Yeah, they got another bludge. And gloom level as well. He gets sidestep. That is also very standard. Yep, it's very exciting as well. They've got 140k cash, so that's the second witch elf, and this team is finally going to have a full roster. Yay! Which is a. Uh, it's been a long time in the making. They're finally getting getting there now. Mm -hmm. um, it's all good. Give the witch elf wrestle. <laughs> Do it. Yes, please do. Actually, you do really it. need the rest. Actually, it's good though. Most of the teams got blocked, which is nice. Yep. Uh, you can get pretty bashy, pretty basic. Maybe hopefully he gets one more guard and a mighty blow along the way, but that's like ideal. Mm -hmm. through, I don't know. Looks a pretty nice vanilla Dark Elf team, and it was a nice vanilla team that won the Super Bowl last year, if I, last season, if I remember correctly. So. Yeah, the way it to is. Go. Um, right, onwards to the tunnel sneaks. Mm -hmm. They get uh, first off a nothing in one week, and secondly, they get a level on the chosen rat. He gets a diving tackle. It's a gutter runner with diving tackle, which is sort of interesting. It's good. I, yeah, it's a nice little seat, nice little marking piece in the backfield. One step diving tackle. That's like if you go on, you know, Skaven 101. That's like the standard build for one of your block cutters. One of them, 
one of them gets ball carrier skills, one of them gets like man marking skills, and then you have two wrestle sa wrestling sackers. That's like the, the classic, the classic play. Um, yeah, I like. I don't know. This is the crazy. This is the interesting rat team where he's got like two throwers and a rat ogre. He's just gone like gone mad. Mm -hmm. Um. He does have a massive old bench, though, doesn't he? He's got a lot of players on the team. Yeah, that's 16 Most players, which is a thing. I think this is the first time I've ever seen a 16-player Skaven team. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, I think I have two. It's cool. Yeah. I think it's really Also, got a level on the lone runner he can sight step. Yep. Oh. It means that it's really nice because it means that, like you're so you're so flexible in how you plan out. Depending on the team, you don't you can choose what players you put on the pitch. It's not like my team where everything's dead, so I have to put the same players out no matter who I'm facing all the time. Yeah. Uh, it's not like he's got anyone to protect at the moment, but for example, you know, but when when players start to get interesting stats and stuff, it means they're well protected. They don't, they can be a bit more optimal. So yeah, it's good looking stuff. I mean, two throwers and a rat ogre. You know, everyone's you know a lot of people would say that's that's like 300 TV worth of bloat or however much it is, but it is. It's working for him, so you know it's all good. Yep. 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 Uh, 17 weeks of suffering. Almost there, major bite. Suffering's almost over. Although, is yeah. he really suffering? He's winning all his games. Like I don't. Know. Exactly. He's like top six. Something. So is he suffering? He's causing some suffering. That's for yeah, sure. That's they've inflicted. Um, let's see. They've inflicted 21 casualties and two deaths. So and they have 42 knockouts. That's quite a lot of suffering. Two kills so, inflicted. Yeah. 14 cases. They're out blocking really well. Look at the blocking stats. They've inflicted 510 blocks and only taken 370 over the season. Which is a really good ratio. It means like just like well positioning, out hitting people, uh, up playing people. Let's see, inflicted nine surfs. So worth well, more than one a game. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, I don't. What about development? Sorry, have we got any development? Uh, yeah, he got a level on Dub Skulls turn one, which is the uh, block line of who gets mighty blow. He does, and he's movement buster as well. Surprised to see Mighty Blow and not like Guard or something. Because he has yeah, I think, knife yeah, cutting Guard is looking a bit good now. Just... Other than that, he has absolutely nothing in terms of development. Yep, he's relying on dirty player working and his own skill to uh, outplay the bash coaches. To out strength and out guard him, and he's all armor seven. He's not even actually four, so he's just saying, "I'm a better coach than you are. I'm going to beat you." And it has worked kind of well so far. Yeah. Um, let's see. I want to see if he's um if he's played his clan mates yet. He's four two and two. Uh, he lost to Steve, and he hasn't played the other one yet. Sorry, the other one, Rasta. So yeah, see how we go. One. <laughs> Sorry, Rasta. Right. If we're done, let's go to Pork Squad. Yep. If they get uh Ham, a level on him, he gets tackle. It's their first tackle. I like it. Nice. And they also get a movement down on Kua. Rip, who are? Yeah, that's kind of sad. And a level on Babe, who gets Mighty Blow piling on. Well, he gets piling on. He's not Mighty Blow piling on. Kill. Uh, first yeah. killer for the Orcs. That's nice, yeah. Just need to tackle and some other stuff. Some, yeah, it's pretty decent Black Orcs as well. Yeah, we're Good looking team. Alright, <laughs> oh, You alright? <laughs> Man, I'm not. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, I am. Uh, the Orcs on tour. It's just so much talking. Like, uh, so much talking. Uh, the Orcs on tour. They get a level on Gruntner side. 
get 30 player. I guess I'm that line. Nice. Great. Lovely. <laughs> then, I, I don't even know how to pronounce this. It's the blitzer who gets guard. Like, what is it? Yeah, I see it. What a monstrosity. Uh, anything else? He gets a level on Big Boss Metal. He gets guard, that's very nice. And that's a good troll. Tomo. He gets Frenzy. Metal the, Metal the Troll is a pretty good guard, block guard. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, pretty ideal. Uh, another good of both the orc teams look really good. <laughs> Yeah, they, they do, Hate which is him. probably why they're first and second, no, respectively. There's not a lot of claw in the div yet, obviously, so it's just like time to shine for the two orc teams. Mm -hmm. The uh, only claw is like Petrol Pierce, and he hasn't got an account, he's still only got claw. He's had all season to get to Mighty Blow, and he still hasn't done it, so. Useless. Really useless. Uh, then it's the other orc team. Or is it? Yes. No, we just looked at this one. Two plus three yeah, leaders. Uh, uh, it's the Isles. They get uh, a lot of death, apparently. Did a lineman die? Yeah, they've, they've trimmed down a bit. Um, although, well, they did get a couple levels. Although, they did get a movement bust on the kick one. They got a level on the rookie catcher, gets dodge, and then the blitzer with dodge gets guard. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. That's really good. That's a uh, that's a big pickup for this team. Yep. Uh, for the love of God, don't take piling on. Um, <laughs> that's that. I think. I mean, it's looking halfway decent for their first season, I'd say. Uh, yeah, they're in a good spot. They're looking forward to next season. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you that. It's an interesting thrower. I, I don't really like that kind of thrower because it's a more running kind of play. Which I don't think Hiles really shine at. Um, yeah. So you're saying, would you have taken like. I, I would have taken is, strong like, arm. you take strong arm instead of strength, yeah. I would have, yes. Because, like, yeah. I feel, yeah, the way I use, use, usually use throws is just keep them right out of range and then run after a pass. Like, if your throw is needing to use their strength, something's gone wrong. Uh, but I guess I guess it could work for like a running high elf build. I don't know. Get like nerves of steel. <laughs> I don't know. Do something interesting. Yeah. Not even nerves of steel. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, onwards. <laughs> You're really tired, aren't you? <laughs> no, I just yeah. One thick coat. Um, there we go. No levels in the most recent game. I know that much. Uh, well, he got a level on Shyish Purple. He gets yep. Mighty Blow. No claw yet. He's had one, two, three, four, five, six levels, and well, actually, one of them is strength. So, like, I play. Also, I've got a bounty on that strength blocking, and he's still not dead. So, come on, guys. Sort it out. Um, yeah. I don't know. He's been. A, it's just standard chill. So <laughs> there's not too much to say. Hmm. Uh, no crazy freaky levels, uh, apart from the strength, which was very early on. He's got the bench, which is nice. So that'll be, be useful. But apart from that, it's just standard chill. So like they're still a season away from being good. Maybe a season and a half. Still a long road ahead. Yep. Um... Wildwood the second also got niggled. Uh, I would fully expect him to sack him and replace him, seeing as he has 190k in the bag. Yep. Yep. Uh, Let's Tung see next. Tungsten Titans is where we're going to. Cool. They've got a few levels actually. They've got a couple of them. How nice. Um. So they get. A level on Emerald Eric. We get Strip yep. Ball, that's the thing. Yeah, I like it. Nice. Uh, I do like a Strip Ball uh, first in a low division like this because there's a limited amount of teams with access to uh, sure hands. So tackle next and you're good. Then he gets mm -hmm. Ruby Richard. God. Guard. 
It's, uh, it's nice. good, I like yeah. it. It's gone all guard first on the long bears, which is kind of what you do because. Yes. You'll kill lizard and the troll slayers and maybe a blizzard stuff. But that's. Like, your long bears are all about. Like, you don't need the money blow first. And you don't really care about their development. Too yeah. Much. So, yeah, I, I think it's. They're looking really good. Like, they really are. Strong. Other than that, you have Amethyst Abe, who gets Mighty Blow, as you said, Tara, and Jay, Jay Japs, ugh, Jade Jasper, who gets Guard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Volunteers, um, they had some stuff happen to them, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> they get a level on Jerry Collins, the catchy 5, he gets Pro, that's nice. And they get a bunch of MNGs. Yep. They're gonna have a rough next game. The yes. next match TV is eleven sixty. Uh with they've only got two vampires, so Well it's not tough. yeah, it's eleven sixty, yeah. Um yeah, rough, rough, rough. Then Tell you we... what, they've been very good with their MVPs, haven't they? Like all the thrills apart from one are still on like zero SP. Yeah, you're actually quite Pretty right. Idea, isn't it? Well, there's two thralls. Well, actually, I think the thralls managed to eat up three MVP so far. Um, yeah, maybe, and one of them has died. Apart from the one slot, he's taken two, but it's good because they've both gone on the same. It's very good with the MVPs. Uh huh. But yeah, he's going to struggle in the next game. Maybe we see some interesting vampire induced, which is not something you see very often. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, the bridge burners getting up there in team value, actually. Um, where are they? Hello? <laughs> there we so, are. Yeah, no, I was finding them as well. I was trying to find them as well, bridge burners. Um, They're just impossible to find real net. There we go. They got a bunch of levels, actually. Fiddler, the catcher, gets sure hands. It's a nice carrier there. Yep. And see, got the liner carrier. with guard gets block, making things a bunch better. And yep. the strength four line out gets block. Oh. Uh, yeah, look, everyone's got a block. There's no, there's only one rest. Is yeah, this? that's an err as well. Well, he's got two wrestles, but like, strength four wrestle tackle. It's really good. Like, it really is. I don't know why you get you get block if you're trying to like out bash people. Yeah, this this really it, seems to not be. Really, I don't think that's really the game plan. It's because look, he's got a lot of guard as well. He's got four guard. Yeah. This is, a, this is a really good Gizla team, actually. Oh, it's, it's yeah, really I think it's probably been Yeah, it's kind of an orthodox, I, I agree. Um, it's like bashy humans, yeah, sort of. They're very, very hit. Yeah, they've got the bear as well. It's, it's a very bashy team. Bash cleaning. Got the uh, Mighty Blow piling on. Which is nice. Because yeah. obviously they come with jump up built in, so that's already a very effective piece. It's 2 SPP away from tackle. <laughs> But wait, there's more levels. Whiskey Jack gets piling on, as we just mentioned. Yeah. And Quick Ben the Catcher also gets block. Yep. So he like leveled half his team in like two games. Yeah, it's, the SPP is flowing now. Apparently so. Yes. 50k extra in the bank. Uh, Gaston Gangers. Gaston Gangers. Ben's struggling a bit. Let's, have Let's a take look. a look. So, Gaston Gangers, they get a level on Grotty Guild, Lino, gets guard. It's interesting. Let's see how long yeah, he stays apart alive. Yeah, apart from that, there's not a, not a whole lot going on. It's very, it looks very similar to the to the team that we saw at the start of the season. Yes. You know, there's not been a, there's not been a ton of like forward movement. Well, I say yes, but uh, I don't but remember whatsoever what this team looked like at the start of the season. Well, it was pretty much this. But he had two. He had a blitzer with the second blitzer with Chloe. I think he was like being injured or killed and had to be replaced or something. Right. Uh, uh, which is a bit sad. But yeah, that was it really. It's, I mean, let's look at the look at the history. He's one one and six. He's only scored eleven touchdowns in like not many in like not many games. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of sad. Like it's a bit of a shame because it's got all the tools to be good. But now it's but now you look at it compared to the other teams and it's very underdeveloped. Huh. Uh, 
That being said, Johnny Fastfit did get a level. Heat's brother. Did get a level. He's block now. Um, yep. Yeah. Which makes it a bit better. Um, his wrestlers, one of the horns wrestlers, like getting close to this, what would probably be strip. I think, yeah, I think he'll be looking forward to Division 4 next season and trying to you know, get the momentum going. Um, uh huh. Because it seems to have really petered out. Which is a real shame. He needs that. Once he gets the Mighty Blow Claw, it should. It might get a little bit easier. Because, um,. It means that you might start to get a few remo a bit of a removal game going, and that sort of helps quite a bit. So, fingers crossed, like, it'll be alright. Yeah, and then lastly we have the Cookbot Cannibals with an absolutely insane amount of stats. Like, what is... What is this? He gets a level on Richard yeah, Chili Pepper, who is... Shurafi. Yep, or Shurafi Halflings. They're up at 11:20 TV. Uh, this is the this is our World Cup coach as well. And uh, they, they, oh, we right. were gonna we made a mental note to wish you like good luck in the World Cup last week, and then we couldn't do the podcast. So, uh, sorry, recap. So like sorry about that. So I hope you did. It. Hope you had a good time. I mean, uh, I think it was Germany they went to. Was it Germany? I don't remember. I know they had very cool looking jackets. Did you see the photo they put up? Like they all had a. I did. They all had their own little like bomber jacket with their name on the back. Yeah. <laughs> Which is nice. Uh, so hope you did. Hope you had a good time. You know, played away. Um, wait, has wait did we the... come back now to the halflings? Which uh, oh, man, the stats are so cool, aren't they? Seven strength three, energy four fling, strength three fling, movement six. This is a tier 3 team. I still stand by. Uh, it's interesting for sure. Next season they'll be good. I don't know, I feel like with this many stats you might have a cause to um, fire and replace a couple, like one of the sure feet ones maybe. Maybe the jump up one. Because uh, you want to you wanna keep a TV, as TV efficient as you can. Uh, especially once you're you know, once Arthur gets to like wrestle, uh, uh, Manuel Basil gets like sprints. I like, those sprints should have feet. You're up at about 1,200, which is like a bit annoying sometimes. But apart from that, like this is the ideal halfling team. There's so many stats. It's starting to get less, bit less of a meme. Uh huh. Stanty Cup next year maybe. Yeah. <laughs> They they, they they don't have a chance this time with um, Darylx Goblins and, uh, and that Ogre team is still like three two three because there's like he had two bye weeks in his divs so it's a bit insane. Mm. Uh, but yeah, all the best. Great. It's a good halfling team. So I guess we'll take a look at next week's games. Yeah, well, one of them's already been played, but apart from that, yep, we're pretty good. We're in time. Uh, it is the Cookbot Cannibals versus Exital Braves. <laughs> I mean, the Halflings will win. No, I mean, <laughs> I mean the um. Man, you must be so tired. The, the... <laughs> you make fun of you. Tell me not to predict the Halflings normally. Uh, the um, Lizardmen are probably gonna win. I'll predict the Lizards then, in that case. If you're predicting the Halflings. I'm predicting the Lizards. Oh, be. Yeah. yeah, I think I think it should win. Uh, Halflings will get 300 in inducements, and the lizard team have only got three, three block on the source. So if the chef goes, it might. You know what? I'll predict a draw. I'll predict a. Oh my god! You and your bloody draws. I reckon. You know, all it takes, all it takes is the chef taking a reroll, and all of a sudden, like the lizards are going to be finding it hard against Sphinx Seven Blanket Dodge. You know, you got the strength three stunty coming in and hitting you with an energy four recovery. Could get a bit hairy, especially if they take like a wizard and a chef and a few bribes. Mm. Yeah, I don't predict a draw. I don't think the halflings will win outright because they're skinks in the backfield. But I think they've got enough to get a draw. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's possible, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Uh, which is why we're going on to the Gaston Ganger. I mean, 
I'm going to go through to the tomb here. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I mean, the Gaston Gang is the TV overdog here by 60. But I think that the undead are the better team. I have the better team. Yeah, I would agree. I don't know how they've managed that. You can see there's so many doubles and stuff. Uh, yeah, I've clicked the undead. Undead with a babe. It's pretty unstoppable. Uh, yeah. Yep. Then we have uh, Volunteers versus the Tunnel Sneaks. I mean... Blood and Tears is really gonna struggle here, aren't they? They do. They have um, they do have four hundred in inducement though, which is a lot. Uh, could be. Problem. This is where the Ratoga sixteen-man roster starts to bite you. Give mm -hmm. away a lot of inducement. Uh, he might. He might. Wraithguard might think about saving up and getting a wizard stick because he's basically giving away a wizard every game already. So he might as well have one himself. Um, I I don't know. I I want to. I think I'll predict the rats because I don't know how good vampires are when they need when they're playing inducements. I don't know what they're like. But I imagine having a loner roll on top of all the other rolls you have to make is not great. Right. So I'm gonna predict the rats. Yeah, I'm gonna also predict the rats just because I mean vampires are only good because they have vampires, and when you don't, when you're missing half your vampires, all of a sudden it's like garbage. <laughs> so yeah. Rats for both of us. Tungsten Titans versus 17 weeks of suffering. I mean, you'd think this is a really bad matchup for Major Bite, but Major Bite has been like pulling off, you know, wins. Yeah, it's just like, this is classic Major Bite territory for this season. He's about 200 TV down, so he'll probably take some booming, boomer bribe combination. But he's going up against dwarves, so it's all armor nine thick skulls. So he's not going to be able to get the removal game. The dwarves have six guard. Uh, I'm gonna predict the dwarves. I think this is a bit too much for Major Vite to handle. Probably. I'm also gonna go with the uh, the dwarves here. Um. Then we have one thick coat versus pork squad. The Chors versus the Orcs. Uh, the Chors haven't really been doing anything this far as the season. Yeah, I'm predicting the I'm predicting Steve and the Orcs. Yes. Because you know they've got a good record and decent development. Yeah. Um. Then we have the two plus supreme leaders versus the Orcs on tour. And I mean the Hiles are looking decent, but I just don't think they're that good. Um, I mean, they're at 1600 TV. Just, you know, they're, not, they're not terrible. Um, strength for wrestle. Let's see what these orcs have. Uh, I don't know. I feel like you could. I feel like I can predict the high elves here. I'll predict the high elves. I'm gonna go with the orcs here. Uh, they have a really solid team, they have a bunch of stuff, and the High Elves just need some more development. Like, even 1700 isn't enough. Um, yeah, I, I because agree. Because a lot of I that TV... Like got, you know, they've got the stats, I feel like they've got the stats, though. I feel like this, you know, the strength for wrestle is going to be a problem for the Orcs team. Well, the thing about stats, I right? Like there's definitely a chance. Stats are good. I'm going to predict, I'm gonna, I'm gonna predict the High Elves, I'm not going to predict the Orcs. It's boring. Stats are good, but they're more of a, a supporting level. Like stats aren't that good if you don't have supporting skills. Like a wrestle. But they, they, they. This is the thing. They've just, they've just picked up a couple of supporting skills to go with it. So this could be a turnaround game. That's what I'm predicting. A lot of this TVs and stats, which is like less than ideal at low TVs, which I would consider this high health team to be. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I'm gonna go with the orcs. Uh, my experience is that I mean high elves just don't come online unless you're like 1800 and you have a bunch of stacked skills. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the orcs. And uh, I mean that was that in terms of predictions. Let's take a look at uh, the table. Yeah, it's the first time I've had a proper look at the table. It's like... So the uh, the table is basically. Um, I mean, it's the orcs leading, followed by 
let me just find it real quick. Followed by, uh, you know, the dwarves, dark elves, stuff like that. Actually, look lazy is up there all of a sudden. When when did that happen? <laughs> well, yeah, he started winning games, didn't he? He had a rough start, but he came back. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's it's uh, Stockholm the game, like you know, both the two sweet two sweet PBA coaches, one and two. Um, nobody's undefeated. Uh, so you got things at the bottom. Yeah, I mean the thing with Div Five is you got teams that don't really even want to make playoffs. Mm -hmm. So like, who are, who here do you think wants to get a playoff ticket? Like, what would be good for the team? Like, well, I'd say maybe the um, maybe the dwarves would would be happy to go. No, no way. Yeah, yeah, they'll just way. get they got, they got enough. Oh, no. they got the basics. No, they'll get absolutely dumped on by agi teams who just have more stats and like claw teams and god no. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, Dwarves are one of the teams which I really believe do poorly when they're down TV. Uh, Inducement Dwarves are definitely a thing. How are they though? Because what do they really yeah, induce? Get, they induce few, if you take an more long periods. They can get some very cheap star players and you can get a bit of revenge going and then it's like, they're just, they're a fouling team that, are, that don't get removed themselves, so they can be okay. Um, I do agree that there will be a lot more claw. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who's gonna win. By the way, <laughs> I don't know, it's too close to call this day. The um, the uh, the two plus supreme leaders versus the orcs on tour game, Isles versus the orcs just happened, and it was a tie, zero zero. <gasps> wow. So, yeah. It was a no no. So uh, we we're both wrong. Yep, yeah, both wrong. Um. So, yeah, I don't think the dwarves would want to. I mean, look lazy might want to because, I mean, just Blodge in general is really strong, even at the higher tiers. Yeah, I think look lazy would fancy himself. Let's say in challenges, he's got the one guard. He'll have a wizard every game, probably. Do some bits. Uh, I mean, Skaven, I'm sure, wouldn't have anything against it because Skaven just do well even when they're down TV. Yeah. Yep. But that's uh, about so it. How many games are left here? We played A. We played. This is weak. This is the ninth game. Uh, no, there's a th it's a 13 week season, so there's four games left, 12 points to play for. So, I think it might be top top five, are probably the ones that are in contention. Probably. Anything more than one game back is a bit tough to overcome, which is why I think the Skaven and the Kills level are a bit too far away to compete. Um, Although, the Tunnel Sneaks have a very good touchdown differential, so don't write them off if it gets close. Um, but man, it's been sort of Steve's div, kind of. I mean, he's got 10 touchdown differential with Orcs. Yeah, first that's the season Orcs, which is very impressive. It implies a very good defense, certainly. Um, so yeah, definitely one to watch there. Up on that, there's not really much to talk about. I mean, a Div Five. There's no, there's nobody, nobody here's getting relegated. Most of these teams in the bottom half are just going to slide into Division Four next season and keep, carry on building. Um, so yeah, it seems pretty chill. Yep. Um, yeah, that's that's basically that. Uh, you, you said it all. Um, and I think we're done, unless we have anything else to add. I don't. I don't have anything else to add. Alright, me neither. Well, that was uh, our recap. We'll go back to our usual schedule unless something terrible happens. And we'll see you all next week.